What is up, guys? We are back here with another Market Watch today, and uh, it's going to be a little bit special. I'm actually going to tell you what not to buy, or, you know, at least my suggestions on what not to buy, because we got Quarter Century Bonanza coming out in less than a month, and this is going to be reprinting a shitload of cards, 200 QCRs, and then about 80 or so other cards. The QCRs, they do say in here that it's going to be a nostalgia pool. Who the hell knows what that even means? Uh, and then the 80 or so uh, other cards are going to either be, they're going to be like the normal rarity collection uh, layout where it's going to be super rares, ultra rares, secret rares, a QCR, uh, or a prismatic secret rare, collector rare, or ultimate rare uh, for each card, right? So like, for example, if you have a monster reborn, it's going to be in all of those printings. The nostalgia pool is just going to be QCRs. We also know that the QCRs, they're not going to be reprinting QCRs in general, right? Just off the hop. If a card was, a card was already a QCR, it's not going to be a QCR again, right? But they will be printing cards that were Starlights into QCRs. They did not mention that uh, at all here. And we can actually just uh, quick a, take a quick little search here. And yeah, so Starlight was not mentioned in this page at all. And we've seen it before as well, where they're printing uh, Starlights as QCRs again. So off the hop there. All right. So with that information, Elemental Hero Strato, Starlight Rare, do not buy this. It is probably going to be a QCR in the Nostalgia Pool. And it is way too expensive if it's going to be a QCR as well. Because we've seen it before, guys. I mean, this card actually already got some, uh, some value lost because of the QCR hype train. If a card that was previously a Starlight gets a QCR printing, it does hurt its value. It might not be a lot in some cases, but it does hurt its value. So you do not want to buy into this card because it's probably going to be printed in the, the nostalgia pool at the very least it also could get be in the other pool where it gets the ultra the ultimate rare collector rare and planum uh, secret rare or whatever the hell they're calling it as well and in the same vein dpe guys do not buy this right now it's probably going to be reprinted it's a very good card it hasn't seen a reprint since the 2022 tins i believe and uh, I mean, it, fit, it fits a lot of criteria, right? It's a kind of an, it could be in this nostalgia pool because it is a nostalgic, uh, it's part of a nostalgic archetype. It's not, uh, it's a newer card, so it's not quite as nostalgia bait as, I mean, any other Destiny hero like Diamond Dude, for example, right? But it, I do feel like this card is going to be in the set and you do not want to be the bag the bag holder here of the starlight rare and by the way i actually have a couple of these and i i mean i hope we don't see a qcr personally but we're probably going to see a qcr printing at least uh sometime soon moving on here same vein so we got some evil heroes and some dark magician stuff that is bound to be included in bonanza as well liquid soldier i do feel like it's going to be included it had very few printings most of the printings that it did get it was short printed in it also has been a while since it got a reprint and usually hero stuff uh and the uh, like D dark magician stuff it sees a lot of reprints in, in these types of sets so i do feel like liquid boy is going to be in in the set and probably as a qcr so you don't want a secret rare right uh evil hero a dust of gold the same thing we're gonna actually get a, some new evil hero support coming up in January 24, so they, I mean, I'm not saying they have to print it, usually Konami does what Konami is going to do, right, even if a card needs printing, they might not print it for years, uh, for whatever reason, but I do feel like they are going to take the, at least between, I mean, that really there is no time between now and January to reprint this besides Bonanza, there's no other reprints that are coming out as of now, I mean, we haven't been told, maybe there's something in, in Christmas time, but as of now, from with the information we got, skip on a Dusted Gold is probably going to be in Bonanza as a QCR. Also, skip as Evil Hero Malicious Bane. Same thing as, as a Dusted Gold. It's gonna it's part of the archetype. It's a good card, and it needs a printing, right? So skip on those three cards for Evil Heroes or heroes in general. Honestly, I feel like Sunrise is not going to be a, be reprinted. So I think that's relatively safe. But it's just so you guys save your money. Don't don't buy any hero stuff. And also, don't buy any Dark Magician stuff. Hold off until Bonanza. See what gets reprinted. Because these cards are probably going to be reprinted as well. Soul Servant. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the OCG, they did had, have a side unity and a side pride that is basically like Bonanza. And Soul Servant and the Dark Magicians. Actually, I don't, I'm not 
off the top of my head, I don't remember if Dark Magicians was printed in, in side Unity, but Soul Servant definitely was, and it was a QCR. So again, save your money, guys. Wait one month. It's less than a month. You get to see the set list. I mean, heck, we even have spoilers before the set even comes out. And if the card that you want isn't printed, then obviously buy it then. But you don't want to be a bag holder. All right, so we're getting off the DM, getting off the hero stuff, and we're going to go a little bit towards the meta here. So, Sword Soul of Mo Yay, Mo Yay, Mo Problems. Am I right? So, this card has been uh, being bought out, and uh, I mean, relatively, I mean, you, get, you guys can see that. Holy, 100, wait, how many? Yeah, 100 items sold. I did not know that, honestly. I, I know, I knew people were buying it. I didn't know a lot of people were buying it. But uh, yes, the 50 listings or so, not uh, about a week ago, we got some uh, teases for new 10 e cards. I think there's like three or so new 10 e cards coming out. Obviously, Sword Soul and 10 e go hand in hand. They fit, they play really well together. So people are buying out Sword Soul stuff. I feel like Sword Soul is going to be reprinted in Bonanza. It's not only a a like a meta card, but also it hasn't seen a lot of printings. It only got two printings actually so we only had it from its original main set burst of destiny and mavens so i i do think a lot of this uh, a lot of the sword soul stuff is, is on the reprint block and you guys should at least wait a bit before making your purchasing decisions and a lot of stuff on magnificent mavens honestly is going to be reprinted totally awesome i can i can totally see totally awesome being reprinted in in all the rarities right it hasn't gotten a qcr so it's it's I mean, it would be a cool QCR as well, and uh, personally, uh, but the stuff we know for sure that in, in Mavens that it won't be reprinted. Infinite Permanence not going to be reprinted. Triple T's not going to be reprinted because they were reprinted in Rarity Collection. Although you should not be buying Infinite Permanence because we know for sure it's going to be a card in the upcoming structure deck, the Blue Eyes structure deck. So, and actually, do I do I do we know when that is out? I don't believe. We do. Maybe we don't. Okay. So it's sometime next year. Cool. Uh, Sky Striker stuff probably also going to be reprinted. So just wait a month, guys, and don't buy basically anything for Magnificent Mavis. A lot of this stuff, it doesn't seem like it's a lot of money, but you need three of those uh, bad boys. That's already 30 bucks. Save your money. Save your money. Wait a bit. All right. In the same vein, 10 E's, right? Do not buy any 10 E's right now. Yes, 35 cents isn't a lot again, but if it gets reprinted in less than a month, I mean, we're going to know in less than a month, probably in like two weeks, the whole set list. And then you buy, if it is reprinted in Bonanza, it's going to be less than 30 cents. So also in higher rarities, like uh, quarter century rare and stuff like that. You guys will like those rarities a lot more than ultra rares. I mean, heck, even super rares are a little cooler in some cases, right? I've, I've seen some uh, heavy buyouts for super rares compared to ultra rares. Okay, so again, in the same vein of somewhat meta, you know, I mean, Beast Seals kind of fell off, Kish here kind of fell off, uh, Power Creeping and all that stuff. Also, lack of support. That's really the big killer. But uh, anything Beast Seal related, I would say hold off on because they only got, for the most part, two printings each as well. And I feel like these are going to be in the choppy, on the, on the reprint block. It's been about a year, a year and a half since these cards have been printed. Now, Misil Lubion has been printed as a QCR already, and they did say that a QCR won't be reprinted as a QCR again, but they also said that if a card was printed as a QCR and it's included in Bonanza, it won't, it, like, it'll still include it in Bonanza, just not printed as a QCR. So I do feel like Misil Lubion is going to be reprinted in Bonanza, Cash Tier Fenrir as well, and all the Beast Seals that you see here, Cash Tier Unicorn as well. And, and the reason, big reason for this is uh, they need to sell the set, guys. What else, logically speaking, are they going to put in this set? They're not going to put Mulcharmy, right? That's a new card. They're, that is already selling a set. They're not going to be printing stuff that was released within a year. They're going to be printing stuff that is somewhat recent, but also that they've already made money off to try to make more money off it, right? And that Seals, Cashiera kind of fit the bill. Anyways, that is my list. I might do a part two because there's a lot of stuff being sold and I there's a lot of value, honestly, in, in some of these cards because people are going crazy with the somewhat recent balance coming out with the new uh, main set coming out and all that stuff. And it's kind of interesting. So I might do a part two. If Let me know what you guys think too. What cards are you guys skipping out on? What cards are you hoping get printed in Bonanza? And yeah, catch you guys in the next one.
a big thank you to the channel members, Eric Moreno and Burn My Dread. You guys are awesome.